And obviously, you can always look at the game and see ways you could have guarded this better or did this better or got a rebound here. But, you know, we played a, a very, very good game, and they played a very, very good game, and it was victorious. It's great to get, uh, you know, what we have right now. This is what we have right now. We're playing some good ball. So uh, it was a good, uh, good game for us here in Boston. Kyle, are you okay with the Cavs' somewhat celebratory yeah. feeling after? I thought they played great. I really, first of all, they didn't have love, and Corver couldn't hit anything, and they didn't have JR, yeah, and it's yeah. Darren's first game, and Bogut's not there, and Boston's good, and Boston was at home. And that came, game came down to a, a really good NBA veteran having an open shot that he generally, even in a game, forget practice, probably hit six to 10. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I, I watched that, and I'm like, that game last night to me was like, if that's the Cavs at 80%, against the second best team maybe in the East that played well, the Cavs should feel great about last night. Uh, great is too strong. There are no moral victories when you're the defending champions and you got the best player in basketball. I will say this, though. I, I thought down the stretch, if I'm not mistaken, Jay Crowder hit a big three. Mm -hmm. Avery Bradley hit a big three. Uh, Isaiah Thomas hit a big three. The Celtics made all the necessary <laughs> yeah, right, shots right. the last 90 yeah. seconds, two minutes. And Cleveland declared Darren Williams didn't knock down his. Cavaliers played well. Look, LeBron is like, what's to be angry about? Yeah. I, I, I wanted a shooter. I got Kyle Corver. I wanted a playmaker. I've got Darren Williams. Williams. I wanted a big. I've got Andrew Bogut. Like, he, he knows everything is starting to come together, and he's feeling good about it. Plus, he understands as the leader of that team, Darren Williams' first game, first game in the locker room. He doesn't want to create, like, a negative vibe in that locker room to make Darren think he's walking into a hornet's nest, you know, or or even make Darren feel bad that he missed that wide open shot. And I think LeBron's also in a position where he can't win either way. If he would have come out last night and been like, we got to get together just because we got talent, everybody's thinking now we're the favorites because Durant's hurt, whatever. Everybody would have been like, why is he creating so much drama? Why is he always causing distractions? Mm -hmm. Now he's happy, and everybody's like, well, is Great he point. too happy? Great point. So <laughs> Great he point. can't win. Wait, here's the thing, too, and keep in mind, all the pressure's on Golden State really to win. Everybody understands that in the East, Cleveland is going to get to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's just a matter of how many games it's going to take. I thought it was huge that LeBron, with Darren's first game, went to him and found him. Yep. Point that, being. That, that was something. Point being, I trust you and I want you to be a part of this team. Yep. Make or miss, okay? So the bigger picture is, and we were talking about this, imagine having Kyrie running the pick and roll when you got Darren Williams up top, Kyle Korver in the corner, LeBron somewhere on the court. How do you guard it? How do you stop it? So it's going to take a minute for all those pieces to fit together, but when it comes, Jason, this is his best team in regards to overall talent and the, chemistry. I, 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 have to I, look again. I was thinking about this today. It's almost such a deep team it's not an easy team to coach. Steve Kerr knows in crisis, four guys have got to have on the court. Mm -hmm. This team can go big. Yeah, they can go three. They can go small. small. It's becoming an increasing. You usually only go nine deep at the most, typically, in the playoffs. They, Tyron Lue's going to have a lot of options, and choices doesn't make yeah. it easier. I think Golden State's easier to coach when KD comes back. Having LeBron on that team will make it easier for him because some guys are going to not be playing at crunch time. That's not a big deal. I, I just want to quickly address the last shot, and, and I don't want to make too much of it. I, I've heard people say, question LeBron making that pass. My question, to be honest with you, Darren Williams got the ball with eight seconds had a great chance to pump fake and get into the lane and either get fouled or dish to someone else. That's what I question more than LeBron passing up the shot. I thought LeBron made a brilliant play and put a playmaker in position to make a play. On the road in Boston, the chance to win. Exactly. I think at home maybe, but on the road, late, you're down several players, yet Corver hadn't shot well. If I'm Darren, I'm thinking, I can get out of town, we win the game. Or, That's you, why I, or you're thinking, too, when you're in the corner, you're going to spot open because you know the pass may come. So he probably already had in his mind, if I'm open, catch and shoot, yeah. I'm ready to go. Yeah. And so sometimes that pre-thought or uh, you're, you're, you're preparing yourself for that situation, you don't think about the other options you have.